When the NPP rejected the 2012 election results, the party filed a contest at the highest court of the land, the Supreme Court. That, some political scientists believe, has deepened the country's democracy one way or the other. Two political scientists, Dr. Bosman Asari and Dr. Evans Agredaku, believe no matter the direction of the verdict by the Supreme Court, Ghana will be peaceful and Ghanaians will conduct themselves well. well I think uh, the big picture is that it's going to be very peaceful. Whoever wins the verdict of the Supreme Court must understand that uh, we, we rise together as a country and we also fall together. It is incumbent upon all of us for the sake of national unity, for the sake of national stability, for the sake of peace in this country. We all abide by the verdict. But how prepared are Ghanaians for the verdict of the historic election litigation case? In terms of readiness, Ghana is always ready. The constitution is fixed when it comes to that. Let's say it's an entrenched clause, so you are not going to start a new four-year term. But moving forward, I expect whoever will win to really extend the olive branch. And the big picture moving forward, can't we have a system that brings us together as Ghanaians? The key thing will be that it is it certainly will be a decision that will be implementable. But why not? We all have to abide by it. Otherwise, then there's no point in going to court. The two agreed. Politicians have failed Ghanaians and must be humbled by the advice of the Supreme Court. The political pundits were hopeful of institutional reforms in the electoral system after the verdict. Certainly, there will be serious institutional reforms, irrespective of what the verdict will be. Even the political parties, how do we pick our pooling agents, for instance? How do we train you know, our presiding officers, among others? How do we pay attention to details?